Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue my book of life stories. And the chapter we'll be reading is The Twelve Spies. Aaron grows flower by his rod. Moses strikes the um, rock. So let's begin. The Twelve Spies. Look at the fruit these men are carrying. See how big that bunch of grapes is? It takes two men to carry it on a pole. And the seed of figs and pomegranates. Where did this beautiful fruit come from? From the land of Canaan. Remember, Canaan is where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob once lived. But because of the famine in there, Jacob, with his family, moved to Egypt. Now, about 216 years later, Moses is leading the Israelites back to Canaan. They have come to a place in the wilderness called Kadesh. Bad people live in the land of Canaan. So Moses sends out 12 spies and tells them, Find out how many people live there and how strong they are. Find out if the ground is good for growing things and be sure to bring back some of the fruit. When the spies come back to Kadash, they tell Moses it is it is a really fine country. And to prove it, they, uh, they show Moses some of the fruits. But ten of the spies say the people who live there are big and strong. We will be killed if we try to take the land. The Israelites are afraid when they hear this. It would have been better to die in Egypt or even here in the wilderness, they say. We will be killed in battle and our wives and children will be captured. Let's choose a new leader in place of Moses and go back to Egypt. But two of the spies trust in Jehovah and try to calm the people. Their names are Josiah and Caleb. They say, don't be afraid. Jehovah is with us. It will be easy to take the land. But the people don't listen. They even want to kill Joshua and Caleb. This makes Jehovah very angry and he tells Moses, None of the people from 20 years of age and over will go into the land of Canaan. They have seen the miracles that I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, but still they don't trust me. So they will be will be wandering in the wilderness for 40 years until the last person dies. Until Joshua and Caleb will go into the land of Canaan. Aaron rods grows flowers. See the flowers and ripe almonds growing from the, this rod or stick? This is the rod of Aaron. These flowers and the ripe fruit grew out of Aaron's rod in just one night. Let's see why Israelites have been wandering in the wilderness for a while now. Some of the people don't think Moses should be the leader or that Aaron should be the high priest. Korah is one who thinks this way and so are Datan, Abiram, and 250 leaders of the people. They all come and say to Moses, why is that you put yourself above the rest of us? Moses tell Korah and his followers, Tomorrow morning, take fire holders and put in incense in them. Then, Je then come to Jehovah's tabernacle. Well, we will see who whom Jehovah will choose. The next day, Korah and his 250 followers come to the tabernacle. Many others come along to support these men. Jehovah is very angry. Get away from the tents of these bad men. Moses says, don't touch anything that belongs to them. The people listen and move away from the tents of Korah, Datan, and Abiram. Then Moses says, By this you will know whom Jehovah has chosen. The ground will open and swallow up these bad men. As soon as Moses stopped talking, the ground opens. opens. Korah's tent and belongings, and Datan and Aban, and those with them go down, and the ground closes over them. When the people hear the mm, cries of those falling into the ground, they shout, Run, the earth might swallow us too! Korah and his 250 followers are still near the tabernacle, so Jehovah sends fire, and all of them are burned up. Then Jehovah tells Aaron, Aaron's son, Eleazar, to take the fire holders of the dead men and to t make a tin covering for the altar with them. This altar... Covering is to serve as a warning to the Israelites that no one besides Aaron and his sons should act as priests for Jehovah. But Jehovah wants to make very clear that it is Aaron and his sons whom he has chosen to be priests. So he tells Moses, have a leader of each tribe of Israel bring his rod. For the tribe of Levi, have Aaron bring his rod. Then put each of these rods in the tabernacle in front of the Ark of the Covenant. The rod of the man that I have chosen 
uh, as priests will grow flowers when Moses looks the next morning. Why? Aaron's rod had these flowers and ripe almonds growing out of it. So do you see now why Jehovah caused Aaron's rods to grow flowers? Moses strikes the rock. Years after a year passes, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 39 years, and the Israelites are still in the wilderness. But all these years, still in the wilderness. Jeho but all these years, Jehovah takes care of his people. He feeds them with manna. He leads them during the day with a pillar of cloud, and by night with a pillar of fire. And all during these years, their clothes don't wear out, and their feet don't get sore. It is now the first month of the 40th year since leaving Egypt. The Israelites again came at Kadesh. This is where they were when the 12 spies were sent to spy out the land of Canaan nearly 40 years before. Moses' sister Marianne dies at Kadesh, and as before, there is trouble here. The people can't find any water, so they complain to Moses. It would have been better if we had died. Why did you bring us out of Egypt into the terrible place where nothing will grow? There are no grain, no figs, no grapes, no pomegranates. There isn't even any water to drink. When Moses and Aaron go to the tabernacle to pray, Jehovah tells Moses, gathers the people together. Then in front of them, all, all speak to that rock over there. Enough water will come out of it for the people and all their animals so moses gathers the people and says listen you who have no trust in god do aaron and i have to get water out of the rock for you then moses strikes the rock twice with a stick and a great stream of water comes pouring out the rock there is enough water for all the people and animals to drink but jehovah is angry with moses and aaron do you know why it is because Moses and Aaron said that they were going to bring water from the rock. But really, Jehovah did it. And because Moses and Aaron didn't tell the truth about this, Jehovah says that he is going to punish them. You will not lead my people into Canaan, he said. Soon the Israelites leave Kadesh. After a short while, they came to Mount Hor. Here, up on top of the mountain, Aaron dies. He is 123 years of age at the time of his death. The Israelites are very sad, and so for 30 days, all the people wept for Aaron. His son, Eliezer, became the next high priest of the nation of Israel. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Please, please subscribe and please join me back for the Copper Snake. Bye!